Hello, welcome to uh, Physics Required Practical Number 10, in which we're going to investigate the amount of infrared radiation emitted by different surfaces. You can see in the background we've got a kettle, we've got a heat proof mat, we've got a ruler, an infrared detector, and this bit of kit in the centre is called a Leslie Cube. A Leslie Cube is made of all the same material, but you'll see that each surface on the side has been painted differently. So we've got matte black surface, a shiny black surface, a white surface, and a shiny metallic surface. So the first thing we're going to do is boil the kettle. Once the kettle's boiled, we're going to pour the boiling water into the Leslie cube. And we're gonna do this really carefully. And once we've filled the Leslie cube with the hot water, we're gonna put the bung in the top to try and limit the amount of energy lost through convection. Now, infrared radiation obeys the inverse square law, which means the further away you are from the emitter, the lower the intensity of the infrared radiation. Now, I can show you now. So if I move really close to the Leslie cube, you can see we get a reading of 83.7 degrees Celsius, whereas if I go way back behind the camera and repeat that reading, we get a reading of 57.6 degrees Celsius. So the distance that the infrared detector is from the Leslie cube will affect our results. So if we want to keep this a fair test, we've got to make sure we measure from the same distance for each side. So I'm going to use 10 centimetres. I'm going to start, I'm going to be measuring this side, which you can see is the shiny side. I take the infrared detector to 10 centimetres and we take a reading which is 27.7 degrees Celsius. So we'd record that in a results table. I'm gonna turn the Leslie cube around. This time we'll be measuring, you can see the matte black side. I'll get the infrared detector to 10 centimeters. I take my reading and you can see this time it's quite different, much higher, 82.5 degrees Celsius. You should note that we're not measuring the temperature of the surface of the Leslie cube. Actually, the surface is the same temperature all the way around. We're measuring how effective that surface is at emitting infrared radiation. Finally, once you've got a reading for each side of the Leslie cube, you're going to plot your results onto a bar chart so you can make a comparison.